guys, this is Jerry Yours Point for Kids First. Today we're reviewing the film Captain America Civil War. This film is action packed and it has fantastic acting and a complex yet dramatic storyline. The adventure starts when the Avengers, uh, despite Hulk and Thor, well, they're still doing their thing, saving everybody, you know, making sure that nobody gets hurt from any disasters. And somebody's trying to steal a very powerful bioweapon. Now, this is a biological weapon. Anyway, everything's going well. They're getting everybody. They're getting the weapon back. And then Scarlet Witch, one of the Avengers, she accidentally causes an explosion in an apartment building. And this does hurt many people. And this was like a last straw for the Avengers. And it's broken. Now, now the United Nations are putting restrictions on the Avengers because before they could just go wherever they please and act as however they please. Now, it's under UN, United Nations Command. They can go where the UN says so, and not everybody in the Avengers like that. Now, Captain America, he is completely against this plan. But, Iron Man is completely in this plan, and that starts creating a split between the two, because some people are for, some people are against. And the split gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and leads up to a very dramatic and perfect ending. I'm not going to spoil it if you want to find out what happens, what's this ending, and everything about the film, you gotta watch it. Something that I absolutely love, my favorite scenes for the fight sequences, the main large fight sequences with 12, 14 superheroes fighting against each other, and epic, spectacular choreography, and on top of that, music, cinematography, and special effects, it was put together so nicely, so smooth, and just entertaining, and adrenaline pumping so much, and it was definitely the best parts of the film, in my opinion. Now, I do have some criticism with this film. I feel like a lot of the camera shots for the action scenes are too short. It's like a camera here, and it's gonna do for two seconds, and a camera here for two seconds, camera here for three seconds, and that makes it extremely confusing, hard to understand who's winning, what's going on, who's fighting who, and it just kind of makes you go dizzy after a while. Now, the length of the film is two and a half hours, but I don't really think that's negative. I honestly thought that was a perfect length for what the story is. I think the story was written perfectly with a lot of drama, with a lot of detail. And if they tried to rush it or change it, I think it would have ruined the story. So this length was actually perfect for it. And they did make sure that's entertaining throughout the whole film. So I do think the two and a half hours are is actually good. Like I said, visual effects are beautiful. It's not as spectacular and eye-opening as Age of Ultron was, but it's still pretty spectacular and definitely adds to the film. The acting is also full of drama and emotion and sometimes even a little bit of romance, and it's just what you'd expect from the previous Avengers film and now Captain America in this, and it just feels like each actor is blended in with their character. Now, this film isn't meant for kids. It's pretty mature, it's rated PG-13, and I feel like that's pretty accurate. So I'm gonna give an age rating around 13, maybe 14 to 18. There's a lot of action sequences, there's a lot of mature topics, there's a lot of politics, and there's a lot of more violence occurring in this film too, that it may be a little more mature for younger kids. I also give it five out of five stars because despite a few criticisms with it, the fight sequences, the story, the acting, it all adds up to be a beautiful film, smooth, entertaining, action-packed, and greatly enjoyable. If you'd like to see this film, it's in theaters near you May 6th. I'm Jerry Orris, pointing for Kids First. Bye!